Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to play a course that was recently torn down and turned into a cornfield about two years ago. So here in Ross County, we all know the course Running Fox or River's Edge as it came to be, um, got turned into a cornfield. So before that was completely out of the history books in the LIDAR data, I was able to keep that data and turn it into the Running Fox RCR LiDAR course on TGC 2019. I've played this hundreds of times, but today I'm doing something different. I'm going to be using the Garmin Approach R10. The Garmin R10 is a Doppler launch monitor. It sets about six, seven feet behind the ball, and it does a great job of watching the ball. Ball speeds are spot on with about every big name launch monitor there is. A couple negatives about it. One, there's no putting, which Sim putting is not the greatest anyway yet. And two is uh, the curvature is a little off. If you don't know, I've made videos about it, but if you wanted to do a big snap hook or a big nasty slice, it's not going to happen with the Garmin, at least indoors. You might be able to pick it up better outdoors, but the Garmin is only under 600 bucks, which the next closest thing up from a Garmin would be like a SkyTrack or a Mevo Plus, and that's $2,000. So let's set this bad boy up, and we're going to switch over to the other screen. Okay. All right, so I'm on the first tee. Let's go ahead and take a look at this hole. It's still a flyover. And if you've played Running Fox, you know this is pretty much exactly what it looks like. For the most part, looks like I'll have to do a zoom next time. You can see the hill right there on the front for the first hole. Comes right down to it. The green, everything's the same, same angle, all that good stuff. So let's just hit a somewhat straightish hybrid here. I don't feel like hitting driver just yet. That's so left. Yeah. Low and left. That's how good the Garmin is. The Garmin does a good job. Great spot to be. That's a great spot to be. Yeah, so gonna have to aim out this way and just kind of punch it. Yeah. Garmin does a great job of picking up those shots like that. Pretty impressed with how the Garmin does, especially for the price point. All right, here we go, 75 yards. That's short right. Ooh, it got there. Definitely felt it come off a little bit right though. Okay, and the putting is turned off because there is no putting with the Garmin Approach R10. No big deal. Okay, 170 yards uphill, nine feet. Let's zoom into this one. Again, looks pretty much identical. What club do I have? I got a club that's not gonna get me there. So I'm gonna try to play a little bit of a draw. I bladed it, it was not good. That ball was not struck anywhere near the center of the face. It was all at the bottom of the face. Landed it in the hole. Okay, so it didn't, it took me a couple attempts on that one to get that to read. Not exactly sure why. Garmin isn't the best at short chip shots. It has no problem with those short shots in E6 or GS Pro though. So this is the first time I've been playing it with the TGC 2019. So this is still somewhat new to me. So we're gonna go for a fade driver here. I crushed that ball. Yes, I did. I hit that very nice. I would say the distance is a hair short for as good as I hit that one. Okay, though. Good to see that it come about that right distance, though. That's what I would expect to see somewhere around that 260, something like that. So 150, 
uphill five yards. Take a look at it. Again, just like the actual course, you don't want to be over the back there. I'm going to play this as a fade. I'm try to call these shots so you can see how good the Garmin does of picking them up. That's going more to the right than I wanted. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, felt the face, felt the face pretty far open at impact on that one, so I'm not surprised. All right, we're at 206 yards. Just gonna go with an easy hybrid here. Don't feel like smashing five iron just yet. That should be nice. Yeah, I was playing a little bit of a fade. Look at that. Stay. All right. Yeah, that read that one very nice. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm super impressed with the Garmin. It was, it's been out for almost probably two years now, I want to say. Maybe it's one year. But I wasn't too excited about it when I heard about it because I assumed for $600, how good can it really be? It's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to go for that same fade swing again. That's going left hard. There we go. Yep. Yeah, I felt the club face shut as I came through. The path was what I wanted, but I felt the club face completely shut. And that's what you want to see. You want to see your bad shots show up as bad shots. All right, I'm going to hit a little draw, high draw hybrid here. It drew, just not enough. It's fine. It's an acceptable shot. I will take that. Struck it pretty. All right, I had to really hit that one a little harder than I wanted to. But maybe there'll be an update for that. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. We'll try a few more things throughout this round and see if it's could just be me. I don't have any fans on. A lot of times if you have a fan on in the room, um, the Doppler devices just kind of wig out and go nuts. So we're going to zoom in here and again, we're going to play that fade shot except we're going to need to get it in the air this time. That should be pretty nice. Oh! Yes, the path. The path or the face on that one, I don't know. It felt okay. All right. This club should not get me there. So we should see this fall a little bit short of the green. So this will be interesting to test this out. Let's see what we get. Should Anna draw. There's the draw and short. Perfect. That's what we wanted. I mean, not for score wise, not what we wanted, but we're testing out the Garmin and seeing how it does. Yeah. All right, 29 yards. Oh, that might be in the hole. Nope. Nope, it read that one pretty good though, but. Got to work on those shorter chips. Got to figure up the solution to get those to read. It's got to be something with TGC though, because I haven't seen that in GS Pro. All right, let's do a big draw. Let's see if we can't get this about 270, 280. That's real low. Yep. There's the draw and real low. Yeah, was not struck well, but it did do exactly what I felt though. 92 yards, um, just for testing purposes here. I got an eight iron. I'm gonna hit something low that kind of just runs up there. Look at that. 
That was the plan to stay on the green because I don't want to chip. Cool. Okay. I'll try to hit a straight drive. The old rare straight drive for me anyway. I'll take that. Let's see what that distance comes out to be. Yeah. That's good. That's what I wanted to see. If I felt like I crushed it and it only ended up being like, you know, 220 or something, that would suck. So good. 55 yards. That should be all over it. Oh. Okay, for the fun of it, I got my Titleist driver, which is about an inch longer than my regular driver, which will give me a couple more miles an hour of club head speed. So let's move over to here and let's see if I can hit a draw that gets us to this green. I'll take that. Let's try to hit a little harder. See, I got that one. It may just be, if it's too soft of a hit, the Garmin may not like it. And it might not think it's a, an actual shot. All right, let's hit five wood here. Just gonna try to hit a big draw so you can see it move. Nice hook. Look at that! It did it! Oh, but it bounced straight. Ninety-three yards. Oh, what the heck? What happened? I don't know if that was a misread. Let's do, let's do a mulligan on that one. I don't know if that was a misread or that was me hitting branches. Did you can see that branch that's up there? So let's go under the branches. 93 yards, eight iron. We'll run it up there. Okay, yeah, I must have hit the branches on that last hole. That's not going to be enough, is it? Great. Now I get a chip. Yeah. Ooh. Hitting flag sticks. Yep. One of the negative things I can say about TGC is it hasn't been updated in so long, but it's just not, there's not much it needs to be updated on it, but there could be some improvements to the physics. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that felt about right. Okay, 179. I'm going to hit whatever club this is and make it work. This is an eight iron out of the rough. I'm gonna try to smash it. Eh, not really smash it. Hit a little harder and draw it in there. All right, little slight draw. Not enough though. Not enough. And I am using a Titleist RCT ball. 19 yards. Get down. Get down. What's this next hole? It's like 230 or something, isn't it? 220?
Yeah, 228. All right, I'm gonna hit this five wood. Don't hit anything. Oh, I definitely did. Definitely went through some trees. 53 yards. That's left of the flag. Yep. Okay. Just gonna go for an easy drive or try to hit draw. There we go. That was the plan. Distance looks right. Eighty yards. That's out to the right of the flag. Yep. Yeah. I felt that come off the face and shoot to the right. Need to organize these clubs at some point. All right, 141. Oh, that's so bad. That ain't getting there. Just roll on, roll. I'm gonna mulligan that one, sorry. Oh. Okay, let's get that. There we go. That's what I was trying to do the first time. Go. It did not go. Okay. This next hole is the real tight one. There is not a lot of room down through there. So, I'm gonna aim up the right side of the fairway. Get an easy five iron draw that kind of just runs low. Real low. So that was not great. It worked out okay, but I did not strike that very good at all. Now what? Okay. Just gonna take a hybrid here. Play my little fade with it. Look at that. Perfect. Go. Yeah, that's about the right distance. Good. Okay. 36 yards. That's left of the flag. Knew it. So like a shot like that, like I felt it go left. If that ball would have shot to the right, I would have been highly disappointed in this thing. It doesn't happen. Okay. Let's see how far I can hit one here. That was everything I had. No more. Oh, I felt like I should have got more out of that. I hit that very nice. 138. I'm going to play an easy, if I can find it. What club's this? All right, this ain't what I wanted, but I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna play an easy eight iron here. I'm gonna play it to fade. So it's gonna come in from left to right. 
just like that. Too much though. Oh, all right. Now we got a fairly short par five, the distance of it is, but it isn't very long. It's gonna only be the high fours. Yeah, 473. All right. Again, let's try to hit one really hard. Normally, if I hit one really hard, I carry it about 270. So it could be the ball, could be the Garmin. That's okay though. That's not the point of this thing. All right, I'm gonna five iron here. Try to hit good contact. And just hit it somewhat straight. Nope, out to the right. Okay, at 31 yards. Oh, that's so far long and left. Ooh, it bit, that helped. I need to check something real quick. Okay, 186. All right, 186, uphill 13 feet. Let's take a look at it. Oh, box is asleep. Take a look at it. Um, I'm just gonna try to hit it. An easy, slight baby draw would be nice. Oh, it didn't come back. Okay. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I got lucky on that one. You can see I just straight up bladed that thing and it shot over to the back of the green. All right, so that's a 72. All right, so that was Running Fox Golf Course here in Chillicothe, Ohio.